My name is Rosa Brooks. I'm a professor at Georgetown University Law Center. One of the things that has always struck me about my time working in government, um, both at the State Department and, and at the Pentagon, is that these are actually some of the most idealistic, uncynical people you'll ever meet. I was brought up to believe that your job in life is not to make money. Your job in life is not even to be happy. You know, I was brought up to believe that your, your job in life is to fight for justice in some way or another, and that could take a lot of different forms. You could do that as a journalist, you could do that as an activist, but if you weren't making a difference in the world, then what was the point of your life? As I listened to all the sort of Trump era rhetoric about the swamp and the deep state and the federal bureaucracy, it, it makes me mad. I mean, it makes me mad because these are, by and large, people who could be making a lot more money somewhere else um, and having more comfortable lives, and they do this stuff because they really believe in it. The Trump administration's proposed budget is just somewhere between crazy, stupid, and evil. I'm not sure which percentage of each of those I'd put it at. The slashing the budgets for uh, the State Department, for international aid, and sort of randomly throwing money at the military. It's like, it's like you took an eighth grader who had, you know, seen one news story on Fox News and said, okay, you come up with the budget, and they did that, and that's about the level it's at, frankly. Every member of Congress has somewhere in their constituency, you know, they have a, a, a defense contractor who's churning out planes or churning out tanks or churning out something that costs a lot of money to make. Even when the military is saying, you know, you're, you're insisting on spending money on a piece of equipment that is useless to us. We don't want that. You know, it doesn't work or we don't need it. It's stupid, you know, or there's this better, cheaper thing. There's no political will to do that. It's insulting to the people in the military because it suggests we don't need to know anything about what you do. We don't need to know anything about what you need. We don't need to know anything about the world. Just here's some money. Go and go and don't bother us and make sure there are no problems. The people I talk to in the in the military uh, who tend to be, you know, field grade and senior officers um, is is a lot of fear, a sense a sense that Trump is doesn't understand anything about the military, doesn't understand anything about world affairs, doesn't understand anything about foreign policy, and is liable to do something dangerous and crazy that is going to put people at risk. You know, how long is it going to take before this guy gives some order that is just insane?